Ahoy mateys! Welcome to Field Trip Friday. Today we're going to be learning all about pirates by reading the story, how I became a pirate, and then doing a pirate craft. Let's get started. How I became a pirate. Pirates have green teeth when they have any teeth at all. I know about pirates because one day, when I was at the beach building a sandcastle and minding my own business, a pirate ship sailed into view. I knew what it was because its flag had a skull and crossbones on it and because I could hear the pirate singing, hey ho, blow the man down. They were a little off key. I tried to tell dad but he was busy setting up the beach umbrella. I tried to tell mom, but she was busy slathering my baby sister with sunblock. So I went back to my sandcastle, but I kept an eye on the pirates. By then, they were rowing to shore. When they landed, the head pirate climbed out of the boat and yelled, Ahoy thar, matey, be this the Spanish main? No, I said. This is North Beach. Shiver me timbers, the pirate said. We must have taken a wrong turn at Bora Bora. He walked around my sandcastle. He looked at the moat, then yelled back to his crew. He's a digger, he is, and a good one to boot. A good one to boot, the others agreed. What be your name, matey, the head pirate asked. Jeremy Jacobs, sir, I told him. Well, Jeremy Jacob, he said, you're looking at Braid Beard and his crew. We've been needing a digger like yourself. We've a chest of treasure to bury. I treasure, the others shouted. You're coming with us, Braid Beard told me. I didn't think mom and dad would mind as long as I got back in time for soccer practice the next day. That's how I became a pirate. As soon as we were on board, Braid Beard showed me the chest of gold and jewels. Gotta find a safe place for this here treasure. It's high time we're off, he announced. We're off, we all shouted. And then we set sail. There was plenty to do on board. The pirates taught me to sing sea shanties. The louder, the better. And to say real pirate stuff like landlubber and scurvy dog. By dinner time, I could speak pirate perfectly. I also learned pirate manners. Braid Beard pounded his fist on the table and yelled, Down the hatch, me laddies! Down the hatch, we all shouted. Braid Beard gulped his food and said, Hand over the meat. The meat, we all roared. Nobody told us to finish our spinach. There wasn't any. Or to chew up our carrots. They weren't allowed on board. We talked with our mouths full and nobody said please or thank you. After dinner, I tried to teach the pirates to play soccer. Braidbeard kicked the ball and yelled, Arg, soccer! Arg, soccer, the crew yelled. Then everybody dove for the ball at once and it rolled right off the deck. After it, me hearties, Braidbeard commanded. After it, we all whispered. We fought over who would go get the ball, but it didn't matter anyway because a shark came along and swallowed it in one gulp. So much for soccer. By now, it was past my bedtime, but nobody tells pirates to go to bed, to take a bath, or to brush their teeth. Maybe that's why their teeth are green. Pirates sleep with one eye open, just in case, and they don't change into pajamas unless they want to. 
Pirates don't do anything they don't want to, except for maybe swabbing the decks. I wanted to be a pirate forever. But then I found out what else they don't do. When I couldn't stay awake any longer, I asked Braidbeard to tuck me in and read me a story. Tuck you in, he bellowed. Pirates don't tuck. No tucking, the crew cried. And the only thing they had to read was a map. Don't you have any books, I asked. Braidbeard looked confused. Books? I didn't even bother to ask about a good night kiss. It wasn't easy to fall asleep without a story, but I was finally dozing off when a storm broke. Thunder boomed and lightning flashed. I tried to hide under the covers as waves slammed up against the ship, but I kept falling out of my hammock. I couldn't find anyone in the cabin. They were all on deck. Lower the sails, Braidbeard shouted. Batten down the hatches. Everybody ran around yelling and lowering and battening. Nobody had time to sit close and tell me it would be over soon. Nobody even noticed me. I decided that I didn't want to be a pirate after all. Just then, flash, crash, crack. Lightning hit the mast and split it right down the middle. What do we do now, yelled one of the pirates. We'll have to turn back, called another. But the treasure, hollered Braidbeard. Where will we bury the treasure? I stepped forward. Maybe I can help, I shouted over the wind. I think I know the perfect digging spot. When the storm was over, we rode back to the shore and buried the chest. We drew a map so we could find the treasure again, but I don't think I'll need it. After that, the pirates repaired the ship and got ready to set sail. Before they left, Braidbeard handed me a flag and said, You make a fine pirate, Jeremy Jacob. Guard that treasure well. We'll be back to get it soon enough. Soon enough, the crew repeated. And if you ever need us, Braidbeard added, just run the Jolly Roger up yonder pole. Up yonder pole, the other shouted. And maybe I will, but... Not today. Now that we've read about being a pirate, it's time to make our pirate craft. Here are the supplies you'll need. A full-size paper plate and a six-inch paper plate. Blue paint brown paint, scissors, tape, a pencil, straws, and some colored paper. We're going to start by making our plate into water. So to do that, I'm going to draw across the middle of the plate and I'm going to draw it like waves and then I'm going to cut it out. like water, but it'll look even more like water once we turn it blue. So I'm going to use my blue paint and paint it all the way. Water will look like that. 
my paint's really wet, so I'm gonna just move that out of the way for now. It is time to get started working on a boat on your pirate ship. So now you're gonna need your small plate and you're just gonna cut it in half. So I'm gonna take my scissors. I'm not gonna worry about it being perfect. And we're only gonna need one half of it. So I'm just gonna move that out of the way. And pirate ships aren't white, they're brown. So we're gonna paint this the same way we painted our water. Now I have my boat painted. And this paint's gonna take a while to dry. So I'm actually gonna put these both side. And I have some that I painted earlier. Next step is we have to make our sails and our flag. So I'm gonna start with a piece of colored paper and you can use whatever color you like. And I'm gonna make my first sail based on the shape of my boat, based on the size. So I want it to be just a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna use my pencil. I'm gonna draw a line that's about the size I want it. And then I'm gonna draw two lines that come in like this so that the top will be shorter than the bottom. And then I'm just gonna connect them across the top. And the shape we just drew is a trapezoid. So I'm gonna cut that out. There it is. And then I'm gonna use a piece of white paper to make our next sail. So I want this one to be a little bit smaller. So I'm gonna draw my first line again. I'm gonna draw it shorter than the first one. And then the same way, two lines going like this. And then connect them across the top. And once again, we're just gonna cut that out. Now we have both of our sails ready. And now it's time to make our pirate flag. In this, you can make whatever shape you want. You just want it to be smaller than your sails are. So I drew mine and now I'm gonna cut it out. So now I have these all ready to go. So the next step is I'm gonna take my straws I have two, and I'm just going to tape them together. I'm going to need a piece of masking tape here. And I'm going to put the end of one straw about halfway into the tape, and then the other straw right against it, and I'm just going to wrap it around. And that's just because we needed a longer straw. So the next step, and you might need help with this, it's okay if you need an adult to help you, is we're gonna cut a line in the middle of our water here. The easiest way to do that is to fold it in half a little bit, take our scissors, and just make a little slit. 
And then from there, you can make it as wide as you want. You just don't want to cut all the way to the edge. So now I've got a hole in the water. That's where our boat's going to go in a little bit. So we'll be able to put our straw through it like this, and you'll see why soon. So I'm going to take my boat now, and I'm going to tape it onto my straw. So I was just figuring out where I wanted it. So I'm going to put it about here. So I'm just going to tape it on. I'm going to use two pieces of tape to make sure it stays. And now we're going to put our sails on top. So I'm going to start with my bigger piece. I'm going to tape it the same way. And then my smaller one right above it. And I tore that piece of tape a little bit too big. So I'm just going to rip that off. And then our flag is going to go at the top like this. So now your boat is finished and you see how much I have extra here. I'm just going to cut that off. Now there's nothing sticking out the top. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to put my straw in front and then through the slit, slide down so it comes out the back. And now it's kind of like a puppet. You can make your boat sail in the water. Have fun making your pirate ships and we'll see you soon.